Police found days ago in Vernon. Tonight, an update from police. Thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Logan. We start tonight with some new information. Just a couple of hours ago, police in Vernon updated their investigation and we're learning a bit more about those remains. Earlier this week, a skull was found at an old Rockville landfill off of West Street. News 8's Jackie Slater is live tonight in Vernon at the police department with the new details. Jackie. An artist walking on the grounds of an old Rockville landfill stumbled across something that he thought was unusual, picked it up and discovered that it was a skull. Now police confirmed that those remains were indeed human remains. Now they're telling us that those remains are from a single person. Now people who live in the area originally speculated that the remains might have been those of two or three young women who went missing back in the 1970s. Police tell us they have not made an ID at this point and say they are looking at evidence that was scattered across several acres. Exactly what that evidence is is still being kept under wraps. The Vernon Police Department has been working closely with the state's medical examiner's office and the state forensics lab. They say they've made good progress in the investigation but aren't sure when they will have a positive ID. Uh, we are treating the death as suspicious. However, no uh, determination has yet been made as to the cause and manner of death. Uh, we continue to work with Dr. Bellantoni from the University of Connecticut. He's a state archaeologist. He's been on scene with us each day to assist us in uh, locating and analyzing the evidence that we've collected there. And even though it's the weekend, investigators were out most of the day today. They're going to be out again tomorrow. Now, the site is being guarded and protected at all times. But at this point, who this person is and how they got there is still a mystery. Of course, we're going to continue to follow this story and bring you any new information as we get it. Live in Vernon, Jackie Slater, News 8.